Hello everyone and welcome back to another die cast review. Today we have the Holy Grail die cast from the 1997 crash car for Dale Earnhardt. Now we just got done doing the whole die cast haul. That was the biggest die cast haul I've ever done in my life. And honestly it will probably be the biggest I've, I will ever do because there's no way I'm probably going to have that much more ever again. That was fun though. That was a really fun die cast haul. I actually enjoyed the entirety of of that video I mean normally I do anyway but that was a whole lot more fun so we have the crash car here uh, today I again I just got done recording the haul a few hours ago because I had to edit upload process it all that stuff so I could have my room on my phone in order to get these die cast reviews done listen I as soon as I get these two die cast reviews done I'm going straight to bed after I get it edited and uploaded and you know scheduled and all that stuff because I still haven't been to bed it's 5 a.m. And remember in the diecast hall, I said I woke up at 9 p.m. yesterday and stayed up until like 7.30 a.m. Then woke up about 9 something. No, not 8. It was like 8.30. And then I stayed up, or I woke up at like 9 something. And then I've been up ever since. It's 5 a.m. now. I still haven't been to bed. Look, when I say I don't sleep, I freaking mean it. So, <laughs> yeah, after I get uh, both of these diecast reviews edited uploaded and you know scheduled your boy's going to bed but anyway we got the crash car right here i'm pr again i'm pretty sure it's from daytona i don't think it says i don't think it does it just says the crash car uh, that's got a cool little box though i mean that's literally all it says 1997 crash car it says no track or anything so i don't know there's that but it does come with a sleeve uh here is the actual box nothing crazy uh, is it labeled on here no, it's just Dale Earnhardt number three crash car. That's all it is. I wonder why they didn't label it. I'm pretty sure it's from Daytona though. So we're going to get this bad boy out of the box and uh, take a closer look. Well, I mean, we opened it in the die cast hall. We did that with all of them. Uh, but I mean, we're actually going to sit here and review this bad boy because this thing is an absolute beauty. I mean, this die cast is sought after. Uh, for most of the collectors, I mean, especially every like older diecast collector, this is definitely one. If not, they already have it. This is definitely on their list, and I'm pretty sure there's an elite edition of this too. I don't know what the difference would be because literally nothing opens. It's all one mold. Truck doesn't. Roof flaps don't, and neither does the hood. Maybe the hood opens on the elites. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure it's still all one mold either way I'll have to uh, watch the die cash review or something to kind of educate myself if I can put this box back on that'd be nice Come on now. Come, uh, come. screw it. I Go over there. I don't I don't care Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, scoot this down just a wee bit and that's not what I want just a wee bit so we can uh, get a closer look at this bad mamma jamma right here let's kind of turn up the brightness a little bit there we go now this thing is beat up now i do have the 164 so the 164 and 124 set is complete i could get the 130 second scale i think it is but i don't really want it i just want the 124 and 164 so i'm pretty sure i did a die cast review on the 164 i could be wrong but if not i'll try to have it linked in the description below if i don't forget but either way, no matter how you find this die cast, unless you get it at like Goodwill for like, I don't know, however many bucks. Because apparently there was one guy that found uh, the Daytona win from Dell Jr. In the, in the Wrangler car at Goodwill. I don't know how much he got it for, but apparently it was a Goodwill find, which was actually pretty shocking. Like, who would just let that go? Anyway, uh, but yeah, you will have a very hard time finding this die cast for anywhere under 180 or 160 because these things easily go for like 200 200 220 250 somewhere around there these bad boys are definitely up there in price now me personally i did not pay nowhere near that much well i mean not nowhere near but i didn't pay like 250 or 230 i paid 190 which is still a lot don't get me wrong it's still a lot but honestly for a holy grail die cast like this I think it's worth it. Now, I bought it for 170 but the freaking shipping and the taxes was like 20 bucks, and I'm like, why? That sucks really bad. 
because the shipping was like 11 and the tax was like freaking $12. I guess because of where it was so much money. And I'm like, well, that's nice. I did not expect that. I thought it was going to be like 180 or 170 but nope, tricked me. I had to pay 190 Mainly because it was a bid. But anyway, uh, we got so much detail just on this die cast in general. Like, you can see the scrapes. Like, here's what, like, I can't get over. You can, okay, so look at the windshield. You see the dent right there, like, where it's dented right here on the A-post? Look at the detail of the scratches. It lines up with the roof scratches and the, and the A-post scratches. It's amazing. Like, I mean, the detail on this is out of this world. I mean, it is incredible. Now, it would be even better if the roof flap still opened, which, because they can still open, they're just going to be, like, peeled up. Now, if the deck lid opened, hood opened, that would be incredible. But, I mean, even without that, there is not a dull part on this die cast. So, let's actually go ahead and look at this bad boy. So, we're going to start with the hood, as always. Uh, I don't have very good lighting right now, so you're going to have to try to forgive me a little bit. So, right here, we got good wrench. Of course, oh, I need to brighten that up a little bit. Uh, we got good wrench service. We got a scratch right there. Uh, I got a few scratches, actually, a few uh, rubbed up pieces. You can see the hood is just all crinkled and wrinkled and dented and scratched and bumped and just all kinds of stuff. Moving on to the windshield, it is dented and scratched, and it is amazing. Moving on to the roof, uh, we have some more scratches, of course. Uh, we got the roof flaps that are actually molded and peeled upward, which is also incredible. Of course, you got the number three right there. That actually looks pretty cool. You got the number three with all the scratches and stuff through it. Looks like it's been through a freaking war battle, which it pretty much was. I mean, it literally flipped. So it got, let's see, GM, performance parts, got all the cracks. And look, at, I mean, you can see the side panel right here just kind of coming off. It's all like hanging down and whatnot. I mean, it just, the detail is crazy. And I mean, I couldn't be happier. This thing is incredible. Uh, as you can see, the tail, uh, not the tailgate, but the freaking uh, spoiler back here, if I can get some brightness. The spoiler back here is just absolutely, that's too bright. That's way too bright. The spoiler is just completely flat. You can see this quick lube right there. Uh, gear wrench, or good wrench, not gear wrench, not freaking Kurt Busch. Good wrench, uh, let's see, gmgoodwrench.com right there. Uh, you can see there's some more scratches back here. And you can see there's some scuff marks right here on the back bumper. Across the Chevy bow tie, all that good stuff. You got the number threes right there, uh, which is also, uh, you know, pretty good detail. Uh, so you got the good wrench right here. You got just more scratches, and you got the dents. It's folded. It's like bending down. I mean, this thing is just. I mean, it's it's so cool. It's really cool. Uh, I got Burger King right there. Whatever that is, you got a little planet there. Good wrench, which is all just scratched. Uh, Food City. Got Del Earnhardt up there, AC Delco, RCR on the B post. Uh, see Snap On, which got a whole bunch of scratches. Got the number three with some more scratches. We got all these contingencies right here. Let's see what we got. We got NASCAR race car, uh, Winston Cup, Gatorade, goodies, auto meter stance, uh, mechanics wear. Let's see, uh, Jessel, I think. Uh, Unicol, I th maybe. True Value, Western Auto. RCA, Holly, let's see, uh, don't know something land, I don't know what that is. Clevite, 3M, NCI, Bowman, I uh, can't tell what that one is underneath there as well. I'm, uh, I'm actually not even centered. I got Goodyear, and look at this huge chunk just taken out of the front end. I mean, it is just a huge old chunk of just sheet metal just gone. Best part is there's actually an engine in there. Let me see if I can, you got engine detail in there. So, oh my god, it's way too, oh my god, it's way too bright. You got engine detail in there, right? And, uh, the hood doesn't open. So, I mean, I'm mean, it's just the mold, really. Uh, but I mean, this thing is just super destroyed, and it is amazing. You can see the front end right here, it's all wrinkled, and just kind of dented up. You can see the wheels turn, posable wheels and all that good stuff. I mean, dude, it's just, this thing is absolutely incredible. I mean, it, it really is. Of course, moving down... Uh, this side you can see you got so oh if I can focus here you can see you got some more if I can get some lighting uh, you got you just got some more damage uh, the Goodyear is all crinkled that three is just completely torn up you can see the Goodyear over here is also completely just destroyed I mean this thing is super detailed the deck lid especially that deck lid is so 
just I mean it's all wrinkled up destroyed now one thing I do not see on this die cast which I'm not gonna nitpick at all like I, I mean I'm really not but I am still gonna bring it up I'm pretty sure with this crash right they had to tape the deck lid back together like they had to cover everything but as you can see there's no tape or anything now I'm again I'm not complaining by any means it's just it's kind of weird how it's like you got all this awesome detail you I mean you're not missing any marks literally and it's just like why is my thing flashing and it's just like you forget that one little thing you know what I mean that one wee little thing but it's also kind of important because you know it's a pretty good attention to detail if they were to have the tape and stuff now I know why they didn't because they can't really decal it I don't think they could mold the tape on there that'd be really cool if they could I mean I'm sure if they really tried they could but I mean I don't know maybe they just didn't put that much into it maybe they for whatever reason they tried to mold the tape and just could not I mean either way I don't really care because I mean again this die cast is just way too good to really complain about I mean it's just amazing i mean it really is it's a really awesome die cast so if you have the chance to pick it up like if you can financially afford it and you find it if it's not for like you know freaking three four hundred dollars you know maybe it's around the 190 180 200 range i would say pick it up because i mean this is a holy grail die cast i mean you're not going to get it for cheap there's no way in the world you'll get it for cheap unless you are the luckiest person on earth there's no way you're getting this for cheap. With that being said, that'll be all for this diecast review. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video.